Terrence, this is Empire. The show's about to come on. Are you excited? I hope so. What is it? Is this January 7th? <laughs> That's why you're on the corner. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I'm a little worried because it's such, uh, the, the subject matter is, has such a gravitas to it. And um, it's a bit shocking. Um, and if anyone can get past their initial knee-jerk reaction to some of the realism that we depict in this show, then um, I think we'll be off to a great, great time in this world. It's a very interesting cast. You have a gay son. Uh, the, the, your ex-wife, uh, to, to play by Taraji, comes out of jail. It's a very complex family structure. Yeah, we're looking at basically um, put King Lear, you know, who had his wife banished for 17 years and brought her out, you know, just for one day and he had three sons. One of his sons was homosexual, the other son was a bit overambitious, and the other son who he adored and doted over did not really have any ambition. And we're stuck, we put that inside of a black community and let's, let's turn these people into billionaires and let's add another hinge to it. The father is a murderer and he's a bigot and he's prejudiced and and he's loving and he's and he's dying from ALS. So you add all these little pieces together and a wife who's sacrificed everything for the sake of her family. She sold drugs, but because I was the one that had the potential to go and make money as a singer, she took the fall for it and went to jail for 17 years and comes out and, and has a billion dollar business that her name isn't on. So there's anger around yeah. there, but there's a love between Cookie and Lucius that you rarely get to see. And Taraji plays Cookie with, with such a heart and soul and uh, you see the hardness of somebody that's been in jail or could survive jail for 17 years, but you see the softness of a broken woman, you know, um, who's been apart from her children. What is that chemistry like or the banter back and forth with you and Taraji when the cameras go off? Because I, I, I know when Taraji comes into the room, you know she's coming into the room. Yeah, I mean the banter is great. The banter, she's, she, she's quick witted. She's very quick with it, and um, I don't have an edit, so I'll always take it to a very brash place and just to test her steel. And she always comes back and devours me with some great little one-liner. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know you can't go into great detail, but I know just from the first episode that I was lucky enough to see, your character goes through a bunch of stuff. And I mean, the blood on the face at the end, not to ruin anything. But what are some of the other things that your character get to do in the course of the season that we might want to look out for? Well, one of the better things, we it's just exploring the musical side. The, one of the great things about Hustle and Flow, we were able to show the process of making music. Been there, done that. Now we're showing the process of how to make music profitable, how to get the music out there onto the streets, how to, how to facilitate what, what's necessary on the internet and the social media, but also the logistics of what happens inside of a company and being able to see past, okay, the first dollar gross and how to turn this into a long-term investment that will you know, have a great return on your investment at the end of the day. Your three sons are very, very great actors, Jesse Smallnet. Um, uh, what advice are you giving them? Because I think they're the future of, of television and acting. So what advice are you giving them when you chit-chat conversion? Well, I've got to be careful with these cats. Because, you know, like, like if I was to do a film with Denzel when I was 20 years old, you know, I would have come in there with all of my bag of Denzel's tricks. You know, because my goal would be to displace Denzel. Their goal is to displace me. Trey Breyers, you know, tall, 6'2", beautiful, perfect body, no dark circles under his eyes, brilliant freaking actor who's watched every film I've done, knows when I'm about to take a breath or when I'm going to cough. So I have to be very careful with them that um, I don't let them win too much. You know, you still got to keep some tricks, but I'm so proud of where they are. Watching Jesse come up, Jesse is beautiful. Yeah. His sense of heart and rhythm is amazing. So, and the courage he has to, you know, to, he's homosexual in his real life, and to play this homosexual character 
with such intensity and he has such a love for his father that and his father is unable to return that love to him because of his prejudice to him. Yeah. So it's the um, uh, only thing I can tell them, you know, keep your head down and go for the goal. Yeah. Uh, one thing I know about Fox, Fox is great at, when they do songs in the show, they're great at putting it on my iTunes and releasing those songs. Can we expect to hear a song from you? Yeah. I, and there's a great father song in there from Jesse too. Can we expect to see those songs? On iTunes. Well, I've got um, one song, two song, three songs on the show so far. That's what the DJ spends, and um, your beautiful, beautiful song, and another one, and then you walk. I mean, that's what the DJ spends is amazing. Um, it's amazing. Uh, 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 it, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's like dancing naked in front of other manager, he would give me good advice and you know when you're a teenager you listen to no one mm -hmm. so i would like sometimes i would ignore him and